Hi everyone, this is Princess and welcome back to another episode on Simply My Life TV. No gatekeeping around here today. This is different but yet it is so good. And yes, I'm talking about this spicy mustard chicken. Let me show you how I made it and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. Here I have some chicken breast which has already been washed and clean and I'm making some slices on the top of the chicken breast just to ensure that everything is cooked evenly. As you can see that the tip of the chicken breast is a whole lot thinner than the thicker part of the chicken breast. So making the slices on top will ensure that everything is perfectly cooked. Let's season our chicken. Now I'm going to go in with some garlic powder. I'm also going to hit it with some all-purpose seasoning. And of course, I'm going to use some paprika for color. And you can use whatever season of your choice. And we're going to do that for both sides as well. We have some cornmeal, which of course I'll be seasoning as well. So I'm hitting it with some all-purpose seasoning, some black pepper, and of course some paprika. And we're gonna use this to lightly coat our chicken breast to ensure that it is crispy. We're gonna put these aside to rest while we prepare our vegetables. So I have some onions which I'm gonna chop in small pieces. You can chop them or cut them in whatever size is pleasing to you. And we're also going to chop some garlic as well. Now that is all done, let's start cooking. On low to medium heat, add your oil of choice. Right here I'm using some vegetable oil. Add your chicken. Ensure that the flame is low to medium because we want to ensure that the outside remains really crispy and nice but the inside is going to be so juicy. These were fried around five to six minutes on each side or until golden brown. Wow, now look at that beautiful color. While that other side is being fried, let's prepare our sauce. Here I have some honey mustard, some sugar, cornstarch, some red pepper flakes for some heat, and of course add your water and mix well to ensure that everything is properly blended. Now that our chicken is finished, we're going to go over and make our sauce. In the same pot that the chicken was fried, I'm going to reuse that oil. This oil has all the flavor from the chicken. I'm going to saute the chopped onion for around 10 seconds and then I'm going to go in with the chopped garlic and do that for an additional 5 seconds. We can't forget about our salt. I'm going to just quickly mix that in. And then here comes that nice mustard sauce. 
I am mixing everything in very well to get all that flavor to come together as one. Leave this to simmer for a minute or two. Then we're gonna add back the chicken to this wonderful sauce. I want to ensure that every part of this chicken is fully saturated with this nice creamy sauce. This was left for a minute or two to soak up all that greatness. Turn off your flame and add your fresh parsley. When I tell you you can have this with just about anything, I mean it. I had this with some jasmine rice and this was just divine. You can have it with your mashed potatoes, but don't just take my word for it. Go ahead and try the recipe, share it with your friends and family, and until then, I'll see you in the next video.